a BLT. I just start with a little bit of oil in the pan just to help the bacon along. You know, it's not the same as streaky bacon if you're using back bacon. I'm also using a stainless steel pan because I want to leave some fond in there. And then importantly, I overlap the bacon just so that the fat is always touching the pan but not necessarily all of the meat is touching the pan. Look at that beautiful caramelization there. And then I just gonna lean those slices fat side down up against the walls of the pan, just to continue rendering out that bacon fat. And then I toast that middle slice, baby. That's the secret. Getting that flavor from the base of that pan Look at that, look at that. Oh yes. Flip them over. You know, just want to get, I want to get that bacon fat as crispy as possible. And then assembly. I just drain off that middle slice. I want the flavor of the fat, but I don't necessarily want all of its content. Drain off the bacon slices as well. You know, it's not supposed to be a greasy sandwich. Mayonnaise, really important to have a layer of, of mayonnaise on both of the toasted slices. Otherwise, the juices from the tomato will, will go into the toast and make it soggy. And if you have that layer, then that, then you know, fat and water, they don't like each other. They, they never interact. And then there, two slices of bacon with the fat side pointing downwards. And then when I add the next two slices, I have the fat side pointing upwards. So you have that even spread. These apple slices, I think the apple just, just adds something to the BLT, just this, this sweetness and a bit of acidity, also extra crunch. You know, use a sweet apple, not, not a sour apple. And then on there, stick in a couple of skewers just to keep it all in place. Press down, slice, and camera down. Brilliant, perfect. The love, the care, and attention I would expect if I were to go to a cafe and buy a BLT. Thank you so much. Until next time, thank you, Merry